Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I've been transferring old cassette tape music, our old favourites, into onto CDs and this is the digital capture of them. I'm using a program Audacity which is free and in this situation I have labelled each one. I just copy the entire lot in and then label each song and then I can export it through the export selections. I've labelled them and then they will export that out into individual mp3s and save me a whole heap of work. I've also denoised it to get rid of the tape hiss but unfortunately when I play it around here somewhere there's a lot of and clicks and pops. Now, what what happens there is that it's peaking and randomly. So that comes from things like uh, tape dropout and poor electronics and things. If I go up to the view menu, I can click the show clipping, and it shows me all the places where it has clipped. Now, let's take a look at this song, for example, and we can zoom in using this fit selection button. Then zoom in some more select some more and look at some of those individual little clicks and pops. Now some of them will not actually be clicks and pops, they will be actually um, just peaking where the signal has got to the top. But in this case you can see it's going along happily, the noise, and then all of a sudden it spikes, goes up to full volume and back down again in one little pixel and sometimes two or three or a few, and your speakers can't handle that change in volume and makes that <coughs> type noise because it can't handle it. So we can get rid of those by taking this little pen tool here and just drawing across those little spots. You've got to zoom in to the point where you can see those spots and that gets rid of that click. Now it's going to be very laborious um, trying to isolate all those but if the song is important to you and it's your favorite, it's the most romantic one, you will possibly find that to be worthwhile to do. It might take a while but anyways so we get our little pen and we can redraw those spikes and get rid of those clicks and that will sound quite clean. So when we zoom out to the whole project, again that little section somewhere in that song will have been fixed. Now there's a lot of work here to do but there we are. Audacity getting rid of clicks and pops using the pen tool.